All right, here we are in game one. Um, uh, okay, first stock taken by uh, by CF James, our boy. Yes. Um, so yeah, I think Alexel might not be used to people recovering so high. Like it's hard to deal with uh, Snake Cipher kind of way up there. Yeah. Uh, especially for Lucas. Okay, back throw takes the stock. Um, but Alexel had a an 80%. It's a little bit of a deficit. Lucas can make it back very easily. Little combo there, giving 33. Yeah, those. Ooh, ooh. Good use of that fucking uh, PK <laughs> yeah. fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, the the absorb. <laughs> Indeed. PK absorb. He he t <laughs> he he healed like 30 from that. No, oh, yeah. Um, that's that's gonna be a it's gonna be a big player in this uh in this matchup. Exactly. It's gonna be harder for uh Snake to do the you know having a grenade and shielding kind of strategy. Yeah. Good spot dodge. Okay. Jab three hits. Oh, he wanted to punish that air dodge. He saw it. Okay, I read the roll, but... <laughs> so am I, dude. Okay, downer. Into... Oh, into F smash. Not gonna kill there, though. Okay, yeah, down smash takes it there. Um... Recovering low is going to be a big problem for James in this matchup. Um, Lucas has got a lot of tools to deal with it. Okay, just a little, just a little bit of neutral here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say here. No, oh, yeah. Uh, it's hard for me to commentate this match. Okay, up tilt takes it. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, baiting. Beating out the air dodge onto stage is something James really likes to do into up tilt. Um, okay. Up tilt. It's a good idea to keep Lucas at the edge here. Um, unless he back throws you and then it's not a good idea anymore. Right. Yeah, James is going to have to be, have to be careful with those explosions. If, if Alexel's reading them, he's going to get a lot of health back. Or a lot of percent back. Um, I think something that might be beneficial. Oh, actually, I'm, they can both hear me, so <laughs> just I'll just stick to commentary. Dash attack. Um, that quick dash attack is very good. Ooh, he went for the he went for the tether read, um, and Alexel did tether. He just held off. Yeah, it's really hard to catch those uh, like super high recoveries from Snake. Uh, yeah. And like catch his landing, like as oh, a recovering. Anybody. Ooh, okay. Avoided the avoided the back air there, and that's gonna be game one. Back throw. Oh, grab me saying Bungus is great at pressing buttons and <laughs> during my match. <laughs> oh, grab me says holy dang. Holy dang is correct. This is a this is a big match. Okay, James sticking with a I'm sticking with Snake. Uh, CF never gets nervous. Three, two, one, go. Oh, thank you, thank you, oh, grab me. I appreciate that. You know, I'm trying out something new. Um, okay, here we go. Game two. Uh, down tilt. Okay. A little bit of damage there. Uh, got nothing off the down tilt though. I think it's tough with uh, with how small Lucas is. Okay, <laughs> Alexa went for the second pair there. Um, wasn't gonna wasn't gonna connect. Alexa likes to go for uh, Zara neutral a lot, so I think what we might want to see from here, uh, or what we might want to see here, which I would hate to say in any other situation, is more up tilts from James. <laughs> and there it is. Um, I think there is something there's something James can get off of kind of baiting out using the uh, baiting out Lucas's down B with explosives and just trying to get a punish. Oh, there's the down tilt. All right, the roll read or the up tilt. Yeah, Laxel having a lot of trouble with that high recovery. He's finding it hard to press his advantage. 
Went for the Zarya to grab? I know nothing about that though, I would never do that. Ooh, good parry. Okay, that takes the stock. I'm sitting in shield a little bit. Okay, jab on shield. Wasn't gonna... Oh, down tilt. Uh, he was he was looking for up there. All right, there's there's up tilt. <coughs> up tilt's a great punish option for for James. Just any any whiff really gets him a lot. Impeccable neutral here. Just nobody getting hit. Oh, James looking to catch that. Uh, James looking to catch that edge guard attempt, but gets hit by a down smash. Yeah, I don't think he can recover low here. Ooh, barely escaped that grab. Good down smash. This is tense. Last stock situation. I think CF wanted to capitalize on on Alexel hitting that grenade there, just couldn't couldn't quite manage it. You don't on commentary, Quinston. How could you leave me? Oh grab me is oozing with anticipation. So am I, oh grab me. The up tilt doesn't quite kill, but getting close. This is tense. <coughs> Ooh, was looking for the uh, looking for the roll read, but Laxel rolled the other way. Okay, this is tense. Oh, the down B hit. Oh, okay, not gonna kill. Snake's a heavy boy. Oh, the PK fire kills. Okay. Laxel is up two games. All right, here we go. Going into game three. Um, I think they ran back to stage. Yep, back to PS2. Um, I understand this. I think I think both players are both players are comfortable with their characters on on PS2. <coughs> F tilt. James starting this uh starting this game with a little bit of a percent lead, but that's quickly being eclipsed. Oh, here we go. Uh, Alexel's gonna have to watch out for those up tilts. Ooh, good baiting the roll into the grenade. Okay, just doing just doing stuff, trying to create space right now. Oh, with the F tilt, got a got an F smash for his trouble. Oh, ooh, good read on the roll, and that's the first stock. Okay, James just trying to do some trying to do some setup stuff, get some percent early. Oh, and the PK freeze. Ooh, good short hop down right there. Got the grab. Good back air. That back air is strong. It stays out for a while. Yeah, it wasn't gonna get the F smash there. Um, Alexa likes to likes to ledge jump there in those situations, and it's a pretty fast move. Up tilt. <coughs> yeah, oh, grab me. The uh, the Lucas down B is is doing a lot for Alaxel in this set. Um, I mean, a lot of a lot of Snake's moves have to rely on kind of setting up explosives, and if you can absorb those explosions, you get a lot of health back. 
Um, I do think that uh, CF can use that to his advantage, though, by trying to bait out that down B and getting a punish off of it. Ooh, almost had that up air. That was scary. And that was interesting. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that hitbox, but... Okay, James takes game three. It is a uh, two to one so far. <laughs> yes, oh, grab me. We do have a set on our hands. This is a big one. Luke. Yeah, baby. Magical carp coming in on, on it's commentary. Ca it's your boy carp. Back just, again. Just carp here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is a game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> There's a dash attack that occurred. Stage control is, uh, you know, being rolled around. Things are happening. Yeah, that's that's what I was uh, that's what I was talking about earlier. Is baiting out that down B is going to be really helpful for for yeah, James here. Definitely smart. Um, dash attack, good to punish it. Especially he really won't get the absorb with yeah. the dash attack pushing away. Ooh, up tilt. Up tilt killed there. Uh, maybe maybe a di di issue there. Yeah, definitely um, mixed up. It almost looked like a cross up from like a 2D game. <laughs> the yeah, way, the that, way was, that hit him, it was so weird. That hitbox was strange. Oh. Yeah, grenade to okay. The, good okay, little this combo. Is big Taking damage. Forty-three. Yeah, wow. C CF is okay. capitalizing Down a throw. lot on at when he wins neutral. Yes. Yeah, CF is getting a lot. Oh my god. Um, Why does that? There is, yeah. There's going to be a big problem with Lucas's edge guards here. James just kind of has to recover high and has no other option really. Yeah, snakes recovery, not the greatest in some some Back ways, in. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, you know, it's it's kind of a double-edged sword, because Alexel doesn't not have much when James recovers high, but when James recovers low, James really can't deal with Alexel's edge guards. Yeah, yeah that's another up tilt, though, and a yeah. one up full takes stock it. lead. I mean, up tilt's, up tilt's doing a lot of work in this matchup. I mean, it makes sense, you know? It's Funny leg. It, it's not a, a renowned move for nothing. Like, it yeah, is, it is I a mean, move. it is a great whiff punish option. Um... Yeah, if Alexa wants to absorb those explosions, he's got to be careful with timing because it will it will kind of move the projectile, um, and sometimes kind of knock it away. Um, you saw there that the grenade kind of went off stage before Alexa could absorb yeah, the explosion. Yeah, exactly. Um, so he's gonna be have, he's gonna have to be tighter about timing if he wants those. Yeah. Well, Axel's back to going coast to coast here, you know, yeah. just one ledge to the other ledge. Yeah, um, just trying to just trying to keep stage and keep uh, keep CF away. Yeah, he's just trying to put as much space between him and CF as possible. And, you know, CF gets to make it back on. Ooh, Ooh that was nice. That was a really good punish off yeah. of that grenade. He was so ready. He may have even buffered the back air, because I don't yeah. know if he would have been able to get it on, like, hit confirm that. I think Alexel, I think in this matchup, Alexel needs to kind of learn that he can't, he can't hit shield for nothing. Um, a yeah. lot of the time he's going to get punished for that. This is true. Ooh, That's it. Up tilt. Okay. That was two. the uh, the empty land. You baited out the uh, the shield grab that Alexel is so fond of. Mm, this and, is the um, this is game five. Finished it. All this right. Is game five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Exciting. Exciting. Um. Yeah. I think um CF early in the match uh had to kind of start adapting to Alexel's playstyle. I don't think he's been used to people uh you know actually trying to keep keep ledge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just like not not really like trying to jockey for stage control, but just you know kind of accepting that they're not going to to try to keep center stage and yeah. just going to like play from a disadvantageous position, try to yeah. get the reversal. Yeah, I think I think see if uh, it's I think interesting. CF had a little bit of trouble I have not played now. against anyone like that either, really. Yeah, no, it's it's new for me as well. Um, and it, it's something you definitely have to adapt to. Um, but you know, as we see, it's it's two to two. I think I think CF has been adapting well. Yeah. Um, we'll see what goes. Oh. <laughs> Hero? James doing. James doing a little funny here. Hero? All right. 
nope, it's going to be the snake versus the little boy with the rope snake. If James picked Hero or Ridley for game five, I, I would have been mad. <laughs> yeah. And we're, at, we're on Kalos, probably, I don't know. Okay. I can't see like any obvious benefits to either of the characters, except for maybe the platforms um, are helpful for snakes recovery. The platforms might be helpful for snakes recovery, but um, alternatively, Alaxel has a little bit more of a place to kind of be when CF recovers high. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I don't know. I don't really know how this is going to play out. Yeah, Alaxel swinging an F smash Ooh, out. The ledge jump. He almost got the back air there, um, but Alaxel was ready for it. Okay, down smash to punish the uh, the spot dodge. Yeah, this is a lot of just like smash attack. Oh, okay, yeah, another one. Yeah, just I mean, kind of. So far, I, we've seen a lot of wish punish. Yeah, I also think that's something Alaxel like really takes advantage of. Is like almost nobody really like knows how to like play against Lucas. Like people don't yeah. know people don't know what his moves are like, so he'll just kind of swing out things and then spot dodge or like just try to punish someone not knowing how to punish his moves. Right, yeah. Which you know, well, hopefully we'll stop working as people figure out how yeah. to deal or like people what, will, what his people will start learning like, the matchup but, and I think I think the the way the the way this matchup against Alexel is played it will evolve. Yeah. Um up throw kills there. going to take it. Uh, big side, just gathering okay. himself to CF and an immediate up tilt. Ooh, kicks! Ooh, he is swinging that kick. Yeah, he's fishing here. Um, I mean, he wants to stock, and you can't blame him. Oh, there Ooh. we go. Jump Empty out of land again! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely keyed into Alaxel's habit of immediately trying to either jump or grab out of shield when yeah. when James lands. Well, jumping out of shield is, is one of the most, I think, probably the most common move out of shield, jump. Yeah, everyone does it in this game. Oh! <laughs> F-Smash. Do not wow, land was, in my area. That was huge. No, sir. A lot of damage there. Yeah. Oh, he stuck him. Oh, he stuck him. This could be it. Wait, where is it? Did it fall it's, off? It, no, it's on him. Um, Alexel's just kind of just kind of down being, down being for his life here. No, it, oh, it, fell, did, fall it did fall off. Okay, up till not quite enough. Probably a little, maybe still a little stale. I don't know how many moves are in the queue there, but uh, um, I, next I, one will definitely do it. I actually, I kind of like right now that um, CF is CF is making Alexel guess here and making him kind of down be in neutral instead of pursuing an advantage state. Um, I think that's going to benefit him. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh! Wow! Yeah, you can't let that fall on you. And that's... That was is, great timing from CF. This is Alaxel's last stock in winner's side. Um, mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> Low profiling Ooh. the side B there. He said, no, sir. Ooh! Ooh. That okay, was option select. Oh, that would have actually killed. Like, yeah. that might have killed. Yeah, no, that would have killed for sure. It's very scary. You can't let him get an F smash. Yeah, and Alaxel just lets CF back on, you know? Cause yeah. He's, again, he's content to sit on the side ledge. But, you know, that, that isn't really working for him. Yeah, no, I, I Alaxel was getting a lot more off of kind of going for aggressive edge guards and, and really kind of staying at the ledge against CF. Um, I, I don't think it's favorable for him to kind of give up the stage there. I agree. Okay, let's punish the spot dodge there. Uh, good wait from Alaxel. That grab. Yeah, that's not enough though. Yeah. He's gonna look for it again. Yeah, of course. I mean, now that CF's at 150, it's a little scary. Um, Ooh. Oh, that was scary. Good angle. Okay, there uh, it is. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, well, okay. Alexa at 97, but uh, can't count him out quite yet. Not unwinnable. Ooh. Oh wow! He's alive. That's, yeah, that's not a kill yet. Definitely not unwinnable for Alaxel. Um, no, but he's going to have to play very patient. Yeah, PK freeze. And, you know, Lucas does some things off stage. I was kind of expecting just a straight up tilt out of that air approach, but uh, didn't seem like CF wanted to go for it. You know, he's... Ooh, yeah, scary. see, PK freeze, it's scary. Yeah, this is... This oh, Ooh! that's it! Can't lose sight of that you C4. You got to remember where that C4 is. Wow, what a set. That was a nail biter. Yeah, and I'm I'm here. <laughs> and CF had the download. Snake and, and calling took home, the game. saying, <laughs> "Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we got him." Uh. Beep. That was winners finals. Losers finals has to play now. It's a uh, it's you, it's, right? It's, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Bunk.